We're a family-owned retro video game store in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Hey. We've been in business for over 18 years, and we only sell authentic products and back every item we sell with our 120-day warranty. Have any issues? Give our awesome customer support team a call, and they'll be happy to talk with you. Here at DK Oldies, we aim to provide a convenient place for you to scratch that nostalgia itch with peace of mind. Is DK Oldies a scam? No. Hello everyone, and today we are talking about the company DK Oldies. Now for starters, if you don't know about DK Oldies, they are a company that sell retro games and consoles. But the problem people have been finding with their consoles and games is they are double the market price. In their consoles, they say they are refurbished. Well, they're not refurbished. But just so we're on the same page, what does refurbished mean? Made to look new again by work such as painting, repairing, and cleaning. And that is something they don't appear to do. Is DK a scam? scam? Now that's the question I am planning to answer with this video. For starters, looking at the DK Oldies site, you see something about a one year free warranty. But the sketchy thing about this warranty is that it is voided if you open up your console and remove the sticker. And I'll go a little bit more in depth on that in a little bit. The next sketchy thing is the prices. All the prices are double market price of what you would find on eBay or any other site. Secondly, everything is discounted all the time. Why would someone do this? FOMO. FOMO stands for the fear of missing out. So basically what DK Oldies is doing is creating a false sense of anxiety for people feel like they need to purchase their consoles and games now because they are discounted. Now, people have been saying that these discounts have been going on for years. I don't have any proof of that, but I have been checking on the site off and on for the last month and a half, and those discounts are continuously there. I decided to check the Wayback Machine and the Archive It site, and I only found an old YouTube video of someone saying that DK Oldies sold them an N64 without a jumper pack. This was a little bit sketchy, because without a jumper pack or an expansion pack, there there is no display. It seems a little odd not to pack the console with something that seems so essential. And I also got a peek at what the site looked like in 2019. Apparently, they've been selling refurbished consoles for quite a while. In this case, the internal laser needed to be adjusted so it could read discs reliably. Then, it's off to the cleaning team where it will be restored so it's back to looking great again. Here at TK Oldies, we take these old consoles and turn them into something you'd be proud to display in your living room. See if there's anything that needs to be repaired. In this case, the Wii isn't reading discs, so it's going to need to head to our repairs department to get a new laser installed. Our technician, Sean, opens up the console, and while it's open, he'll blow out any dust or debris that may be inside. Then he'll clean out the rest of the internals, like all the blades on the fan. And it gets passed off to Steph and our cleaning team. In the hands of a professional, a magic eraser can get rid of any dirt without damaging the finish. And a toothbrush works great for getting in those small grooves that run around the sides of the wig. A Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol will work great for cleaning out the controller and memory card ports. These are the type of videos DK Oldies show potential customers that they thoroughly clean their consoles and fix anything that's wrong with them. But this doesn't happen to every console, which makes it a little bit false advertising because every single console is marked refurbished on their site. Now, the general audience of DK Oldies is not going to dig into the console and see that it's not refurbished. They didn't take into account the possibility that somebody with technical knowledge was going to open up a console and see it was never refurbished in the first place. It started right up on my N64. It's me, Mario! So let's try the DK Oldies one one more time. Try one more time. Nothing. So the N64 they sent me doesn't even work. After he tested his Nintendo 64, he figured out really quickly that it didn't work. He opened it up and found that it was absolutely not refurbished and completely filled with dust. And this wasn't just a one-off negative review of DK Oldies. It actually became a pattern. I don't know about you, but an, a functioning Xbox should read that, but who am I? Alright, so a very clean copy of Halo 2 won't work in here, but who knows, maybe there's- I, I haven't used that game in ages, maybe there's something else wrong. 
come on. <laughs> Your Xbox can't recognize this disc. Make sure it's an Xbox game, DVD, movie, or audio CD. Also check to see if the disc is dirty or damaged. It is not. Remove the disc to continue. This is just another example of a console from DK Oldies not being able to play games. Well, he opened it up and it also wasn't refurbished. The caps were swollen and the thermal paste was not replaced. Watch when you pop up the cartridge slot. It just kind of jiggles. It's not it's supposed to go all the way up and not do that. All right. All right, this is the first time I put Super Mario Brothers 2 in. And look at it. Look! This wasn't cleaned. This was absolutely not clean. When first putting in the NES game that he got from DK Oldies in the NES, he discovered that it didn't play because it was dirty. After that, he did open up the console and discovered that everything seemed to be okay. Technically. Motherboard was fine, the caps weren't swollen. But when he put it back together, he realized they weren't using spec screws. They're not using spec screws. They're, there's a special kind of hex head that Nintendo used to use. They're using their own Phillips head, which are more than likely not the same length or the same spec as Nintendo's original screws. So I'm putting the shielding back on, I'm putting it back together. And you know, success, it was put back together, but I was noticing something. The game was not going in properly and I'm like, so basically to explain everything in a more condensed form is DK Oldies did not have the proper screws, so they put in less screws so it'll balance out and allow the game to come in and out, which I wouldn't really call this refurbished, personally. It just gives off the vibe of get it out as quick as possible by any means necessary. Another third party controller. I, I mean guys, $400 for a backwards compatible PS3, cosmetically flawed, and you give me a third party controller. There wasn't even an option to upgrade to an OEM. See what it looks like on the inside. I don't have much hope for the inside of this thing, but we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, time for the big reveal. I got all the screws off on the top. Let's go ahead and pull this cover all the way off and see what it looks like inside. Oh man. Oh, no way. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I have no words. It, it, it actually looks better on camera than in person. Like in person, every single inch of this is covered in dirt and dust, and just look at that, absolutely filthy. Yet another example of the Kilolis not refurbishing their console. This one worked upon getting it, but after opening it, it's very obvious that it's not going to be working very long. Since it wasn't refurbished, the thermal paste wasn't replaced, obviously it wasn't cleaned. That was just showing off four different views of consoles not being refurbished by DK Oldies. Well, there is a lot more. There's at least 10 that I know of that I have watched all the way through and they have verified they have gotten it through DK Oldies. After all these videos started to blow up on YouTube, DK Oldies eventually did respond. Is DK Oldies a scam? No. Just how you would expect them to respond. Are they a scam? No. Let me show you some examples of some of their responses to people in comment sections. It says, do you guys have any response to the multiple YouTubers claiming they bought your hardware and it isn't wasn't clean or refurbished? Just listen to the response. Like I cannot believe they responded this way. They said, with the huge amount of orders that ship out each day, occasionally a mistake slips by. We're only human after all. It looks like a desert. <laughs> but if anyone has an issue with what they receive, they just need to contact us and we'll get it fixed ASAP. Some people just want to spread hate and others are jealous of our success. I, I don't even understand. Yeah, so what are you saying, DK Oldies? I mailed myself packages looking like they were from you and I put broken consoles inside? Explain that to me. I'm not a game reseller. Why would I be jealous of you? Won't let it stop me. Maybe this is Joey himself. I'm just gonna keep making fun videos. Yeah, it definitely is Joey. And spreading the love of retro gaming. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, we're not doing that, no. All of the responses are pretty terrible responses. That they doubled down, they didn't take accountability, and on top of that said people are jealous of their success. Now who would say that? To clear up any possible confusion, Joey, who is the face of DK Oldies, is not actually the owner of DK Oldies. 
It is likely that all of these responses are from the actual owner, whose name is Drew. And to say the least, Drew seems to have a bit of a checkered past, we'll say. Especially since he is the one who broke the special IQ Game Boy, didn't think it was real and thought it was fake, smashed it on camera. This was an issue for multiple reasons. One, he is the owner of a retro game store and he should be more knowledgeable. And two, this was a special rare Game Boy that was produced in China by Nintendo. So it wasn't a knockoff at all. The reason I'm specifically talking about this is because he is the owner of DK Oldies. And he did talk about how he created DK Oldies and it wasn't out of a love of video games. And when I was selling cars, a lady came in and she bought a car like all in cash. And I was like, what do you do? This is like early 2000s. And she's like, I sell pet supplies online. And uh, like back then, it seems normal now, but back then it was just so weird that this lady would sell pet supplies online. And I was like, all right. So I started thinking about, I'm like, well, that idiot can sell pet supplies online. <laughs> and buy a car. Yeah, I'm like, I can sell pet supplies online. The red flag I see here is calling this woman that he met one time who sells pet supplies online for money an idiot. And he continues on from there. And then I started buying, I bought Double Dragon 2 for the NES on eBay. And I was like, this game's awesome. I got it in. I'm like, I love it. And I'm like, let's... I started looking around. I'm like, man, all these games you can buy for like two or three bucks and sell them right back on eBay for five or six bucks. So I started doing that. I started buying bigger and bigger amounts of games right on eBay and then turning them right around and then selling them right back on eBay. My wife, she's also very good with numbers, but me, I'm, I'm not. I have no idea what we do around here. I know a lot of things come in and a lot of things definitely go out. So the business started by him seeing how cheap things were to flip on eBay. And it seemed pretty clear in the second clip that he has no idea what's going on, at least with the finances and what's coming in and going out, which is basically the whole business. So I just want to emphasize that all the problems with DK Oldies, the non-refurbished consoles, the high prices, and the void warranty sticker are all his doing. He owns the company. And some people who formerly worked at DK Oldies have said that unless there is a rattle in the console, not to open them up at all. Not to clean them, not to do anything with them, only to clean the outside. Basically make it look pristine on the outside and not even mess with it unless it's not functioning. Allegedly, of course. And just to give you the very cherry on top of this whole fiasco, apparently the owner is also very rude to his employees. Not really a huge shock when he called the very lady that gave him the idea for DK Oldies an idiot. Anthony, how you doing? What's up? I can't really see you because you got a bunch of boxes here. Look at all this stuff here. Yeah, there you go, complaining. Huh? You know, I didn't put those boxes there. Rich puts boxes where he pleases. So he puts them, this is your area though, right? Yeah, that doesn't mean I have complete control. Why not? If someone puts stuff in my area, I say get it, get it the hell out of here. I don't have time to clear out boxes. You tell me to test and you tell me to move boxes. I'm one person, okay? Mm. Look at this stuff, this stuff needs to be tested. You sound, you sound upset, buddy. This is an everyday thing. Is this a thankless job that you have? Of <laughs> Testing video games? I don't think thankless is a word, first off. Second off. What are you what are you testing here? I'm testing the Xbox stuff. Yeah? Xbox 360, right? Let's see. Get your Xbox 360. 360 stuff. Yeah. Because you told me to do this yesterday. Okay. So Yeah. I'm doing my duties. I think I remember saying that uh, you should test the games before all the other stuff, right? Uh, you can't keep getting away with it! Before like all that other stuff. I, I was saying like if you have more time. Well. I don't know, are there, there seem to be a lot of games. Okay, well let's see here. We got some 360 games. I figured kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. While I'm doing 360. Oh, all right. As the clip goes on, you can sort of tell that Drew seems to be pushing his employee, Anthony, for a reaction for some sort of angry outburst because he's pressing all of his buttons. Apparently this is an everyday thing, which he says in the clip. I would call this a toxic work environment. 
So to wrap everything up and give a conclusion, I do believe that DK Oldies is a scam. The warranty stickers are no longer a thing as of recently. And this is most likely because they found out it's actually illegal to put void warranty stickers. And I bet most of us understand that the void warranty stickers were only there for people wouldn't be able to tell that they weren't refurbished in the first place. All the high prices, the discounts specifically, or what I like to call dark patterns. There are many different kinds of dark patterns, but basically it's just psychological tricks in the UI that benefit only the company. But the discounts itself, I believe, is possibly illegal as well. They could get slapped with something for this, because it is kind of a form of false advertising. If things are constantly discounted, so they look cheaper than they are, even though they're already very high to begin with. Refurbished consoles are also a form of false advertising, because if you say something is refurbished and it has never been opened in its entire life cycle, then obviously that's a problem. So I'm not necessarily blaming the employees or the people who are the face of DK Oldies for all this mishaps, because it all comes from the top down. Everything that's happened is likely from the owner, Drew, trying to make the quickest buck possible because he does not care about video games. He did not make his passion his job, his business. It was, oh, this is the quickest thing to flip over and charge for more money. And sure, at the end of the day, all business is about profit and making money. But I can tell in this instance, the business has become unethical because of his want for money. Although that is of course my opinion, I do believe there may be some lawsuits in the works. Just based on everything I've said, I haven't heard anything concrete. It's just kind of up in the air, and I'll be keeping an eye on this in case they do start dropping lawsuits on DK Oldies. But that is all for this video. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Mario is red. Sonic is blue. Press start to join and be my player too. Boom.